Hello again, my friends, on this, uh, for lack of a better term, we might call the morning after. That seems to be what uh, most people are calling it. And as I look around and I uh, read the postings of people and hear their comments, it's plain to see that there's a lot of uh, discouragement and uh, heart sickness out there uh, among many people who who actually believed and had great hope that Mr. Romney might win and uh, we might see some kind of a moral re renaissance in this country where we could again where we could again believe in what we all thought to be the American dream and the American way of life. I, for one, uh, am not discouraged. I was not surprised. Perhaps I'm unusual uh, amongst most of you people here because it seems to be that everybody is, is very upset. But I've seen this coming for a very long time. I did have some hope that our prayers might, might persuade the Lord to delay the inevitable to adjust his plan, to give us a little more time. But I think a lot of that was my hopes in the flesh that I had for my children, my grandchildren, the things we all share as men. But it was clear, clear to me always that the deal had been made. I, I heard the prophets last year. They spoke clearly on the issue. We all heard them. The deal had been made. Power had been given. Power had been given. We were told that the sacrifice would be made. We were told to watch for the sacrifice. Well, my friends, we saw the sacrifice in Benghazi and all the hope and the encouragement that I had felt that we might yet turn this around, that things might be different than what the prophets had spoken. And even the prophets themselves, that Brother T, they also had this hope in their hearts. I've spoken with Seth this morning on the internet and uh, it's clear he had hoped, but he knew in his heart the truth that would happen. But I guess what I'm here to say this morning, my friends, is uh, there's no need. And I'm speaking now not to Republicans, conservatives, political people of any kind. I'm speaking to the lambs of God, and I want to speak directly to your heart, my friends, and listen to the, what I have to say. There is no need to feel sick or discouraged. The will of the people is now on record. And the proclamation of God's judgment on a rebellious and stiff-necked people has already been made. However, my friends, and this is important, the time between the proclamation of his judgment and the falling of the divine hammer is our time. It's our time, my friends, to speak the truth in the power of the living God that all his flock may come into the fold and his plans be made a reality in our lives and perhaps in our deaths as well. How do we answer to this? I say praise God. Praise God, my friends. This, this moment now is the time for which we were born. It is the reason why we are here. Many of us have for years wondered why why we are here. This is why, my friends. 
So put away your discouragement. Put away your anger, your hurt. Fall on your knees and praise the living God. Praise the living God and bring it on, my Father. We are ready. We are ready. It says in your word, thy people will be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Now is the time, my friends, to speak, to share the truth, to bring your life so close to the living God that you become one and inseparable, that you live in his power and in his strength. For now, my friends, now, my friends, we stand on the threshold of the day of his power. And this is why we are here. Well, that's pretty much all I had for here. Just a word of encouragement. A word of knowledge. Perhaps a word of prophecy, I suppose, although the prophecy is not mine. It's all coming together, my friends. Can you not see? If we are at the times that we believe we are at, and most of us believe that we are near the end, there was never really a chance of a renaissance. I fear there will be no renaissance anywhere on earth in the coming, well, I don't, I don't know time frames. I simply, I simply can see the times are at hand. What that means beyond that. I cannot say at this point. Study the word. 